Welcome back, viewers. It's James Comic on the bike with yet another half ass report. We're down here at Delic Eller Gallery on West 27th Street. Oh, we're going to make a little run through of an exhibition by Steve DiBenedetto. And the title of the show is Mile High Psychiatry. Is that the name of it? Okay. Well, I was at a uh, painting show well, a couple blocks away from here last week and uh, bumped into a couple of my friends of uh, paint heads. They said I should drop in and see this. This piece is titled Catholic Deli. Oil on linen, 60 by 72 inches, this is 2012 to 15. Anyway, uh, you know, when uh, paint heads get together, they sort of compare notes and uh, talk about some of the recon. But uh, both of these painters said that I had to come over here and check out this show. So, uh, we'll take a little walk around and look at some of the work. I think this is probably the biggest piece in the show. This is titled, The Bell Notes. And uh, it says here that Steve worked on this from 2008 to 2015. And it's 82 by 118 inches. So that's roughly almost seven by 10 feet. Now, I, uh, I'd been seeing some reviews and uh, reading some things about Steve years ago, but uh, I think the first time that I got a chance to see a selection of his work was uh, at a show at the Whitney, I guess, in 2005, 2006, called, I think it was Remote Viewing. And, uh, well, at that point, I decided that uh, people that were talking about him were excited about him were pretty on the stick. Anyway, uh, so this piece was probably started around that time. Oh, here's an interesting feature. Looks like Steve has uh, collaged in some camo fabric there on the side. Anyway, we're going to uh, run through here. There's a lot of work, so I'm not going to get to all of it, but uh, we'll pick out some highlights and uh, talk about them. It's called iRobot 2015 Oil on Linen. This is five by four feet. Well, I think one of the things that people like about Steve's work is that uh, in a lot of ways this really does carry on the the legacy of abstract expressionism. Oh, we got a client in here. Well, I was thinking that uh, this particular piece kind of makes me think of uh, William Bezoides. Like I said, I think a lot of people see him carrying on this, this grand legacy. Although, uh, and here's a good example. He's kind of uh, playing around with some things. This is titled Sam Chinita. And uh, he's kind of uh, transferring some of that, it looks like. Maybe uh, smushing that canvas against another painted canvas. It's titled Potato Battery. This is 18 by 14 inches.
This is titled Seven Grain Satan. And uh, well, I pointed out that one of the paintings in here he started, I think, in 2007. And uh, this one he started in 2010. So <clears throat> I think one of the things that uh, some of the people in my crowd like is the the obsessive buildup of paint and uh, kind of working and reworking and uh, distilling your forms down, building things up, scraping things off. And then you end up with these kind of exquisite little passages like this that uh, you know, they don't happen overnight. Uh, but this takes time. We're back. I uh, broke my uh, Boy Scout rule of always being prepared and I uh, ran down the battery. I didn't have an extra one. So we're just going to uh, run down this wall and look at some of the smaller paintings. I think this is titled Take the Canolas 13 and 3 quarters by 10 and a quarter. And uh, well, I wanted to make sure that we get a chance to take a look at the paintings in the back room. And uh, I think these might be some of the more recent ones. This is titled Hails from the Abyss 2015 Oil and Linen. 20 by 16 inches and uh, yeah so he's kind of changed up his uh, technique on this one he's kind of scraping and uh, maybe washing out some of the brushwork this is Mamoun 2015 16 by 20 Here's one of the other uh, major pieces in the show. This is titled, Indications Are Such. Oil and Linen, 77 by 80 inches. This is 2013 to 2015. And, uh, well, they were talking in the press release about how uh, Steve had been using a kind of a group of subjects that he was riffing on, like the octopus and the uh, helicopter. And uh, he's kind of moved into some different things. I guess I can still see a little octopus there, but uh, and maybe that's a, some kind of a drone. Uh, we've got some text here and uh, Looks like he's collaged in some linen on that. And uh, this use of the staccato brush stroke is nice. But again, you get these nice uh, rich surfaces. And we'll wrap up looking at this piece. This is titled Reverse Epiphany. Oil on linen, 20 by 18 inches. And well, here again we've got the rich surface and a lot of buildup. This is 2015. So been James Combe, coming to you from the Derek Eller Gallery, and uh, you've just taken a walkthrough of a series of paintings by Stephen De Benedetto titled Mile High Psychiatry, and thank you Kate.
That was nice. What's your name? Uh, Joka. Joka. Joka, J-O-G-A, like rhymes with Joka.